Astana plans to form one of the largest financial institutions. The infrastructure of International Financial Center of Astana will be created on the basis of the facilities of the upcoming expo. To implement the project, a model of Dubai Center will be taken as an example. Dubai Center is included in the list of the top 15 financial institutions worldwide. The main objectives of the proposed project is to attract investments and the development of local capital markets. That was the topic of the 29th Council of Foreign Investors. It was attended by members of the Council from Kazakhstan and foreign parties, managers of financial institutions, large corporations, interested state bodies, representatives of business circles of Kazakhstan as well. This year, we have uh, discussed the plans of the government to create in Astana an international financial center. And we actually had the opportunity to go to the uh, construction area where currently the buildings are uh, being erected uh, for the expo next year. And following the expo, the same buildings will be redevoted, converted into office facilities where the participants of the Astana International Financial Center will be located. We think that um, to establish the AIFC is a good idea, is even a timely idea, although it is pretty ambitious because there is competition uh, with other financial centers who have started earlier and uh, who have already uh, accumulated um, what we call a critical mass in order to, to have everything easily available because a financial center is actually a market yeah, where supply and demand meet each other and a certain price is being established. Price also for financial services or for financial instruments. We think, nevertheless, it is a good thing if two main conditions are fulfilled. Number one, the AIFC should be complementary to others existing financial centers and should be seeking to partner with those other financial centers so that they are value adding in response to specifics which we have in Kazakhstan, in Central Asia, or if you want also in the Eurasian economic region. The second thing is um, the financial center, although it is benefiting from its special tax regime and legal regime and then the court system special, still should be closely connected with the other financial institutions in Kazakhstan. So I don't think it will be successful to develop the financial center without the existing players in Kazakhstan. And there are not that many foreign financial institutions in Kazakhstan. So mainly the, the Kazakh banks, the Kazakh insurance companies, the Kazakh uh, pension fund, they should have unrestricted access to the financial center because they will be sort of the anchor clients, the, the starting clients for the financial center. During the meeting in Astana, foreign investors have taken out the council recommendations. One of them dealt with the issues of reorganization of the joint working group on operational issues. The participants of the meeting proposed to divide working group into two specialized groups in which its working bodies will be formed. To be more precise, one on labor issues, human capital development and attraction of foreign labor force, the second on energy, the environment and energy sector. In order to work more effectively, the participants recommended the relevant ministries to oversee the realization of projects.
first of all, I think that it's, it's a great opportunity uh, for Kazakhstan. I think when you take a look at Kazakhstan and where it's located from a geographic point of view, I think it makes a great deal of sense to have a financial center here. Um, I also think that to set up that financial center, again, a government has got to be open in terms of reforms and creative in terms of how to put that together. Um, and that's what we're seeing so far from the government, because you need to be able to build the infrastructure, not just physically, but you also have to have the infrastructure in terms of what are you going to have in terms of a legal process, what are you going to have in terms of banking processes, etc. And so we're seeing that engagement and that dialogue. Um, I know that members of the government have been to Singapore and Dubai and other financial centers to learn from them. Um, we've been, I believe, helpful in terms of, of that learning process. And so it shows a willingness of the government to look at those types of, of changes, if you will, and be able to put together a, a financial center like that to attract banks and other foreign investors into the country. So I think it's a great opportunity. I think that um, obviously all of these things are challenging in terms of uh, getting the momentum to, to, to uh, establish it, but I think the country is going in the right direction in terms of being able to do that. The Foreign Investors Council is an advisory body. It was created in 1998 to establish direct dialogue between the government of Kazakhstan and foreign investors. The main task of the council is the development of recommendations and proposals to the president and the government of Kazakhstan on the key aspects of investment policy and economic development of the country. Over the years, a huge range of issues were discussed, including improvement of legal environment for foreign investment in the country, improvement of the judicial system, the optimization of the tax system, and improving the investment image of Kazakhstan. Совет иностранных инвесторов это очень важная организация или, скажем, сказать, Foreign Investors Council is a very important organization or idea because it allows you to create a feedback loop between investors and the government. Because when the investor comes into the country, in fact, there is a lot of questions of a private nature and overall. But these are the fundamental questions, important as the creation of favorable conditions for doing business. Here, these issues are discussed in the Foreign Investors Council. Well, the Council of Foreign Investors, I think, is very important for the country. I've been a member on it now for a couple of years. Uh, this is my second, second forum that I've attended. Um, and it's a great opportunity to meet with the leaders of the country. It's a great opportunity to exchange ideas. Um, I'm very impressed that uh, the president has put this council together because it shows that he wants to get input from foreign investors and from foreign companies and foreign banks, uh, which I think means that the country and the president are very open-minded in terms of getting suggestions, in terms of how to continue to grow the country, how to continue to reform the economy, uh, how to continue to attract foreign direct investment. So having that dialogue is a great opportunity to be able to exchange those ideas, which does lead to further investment in the country. Work on improving the investment climate aimed at the implementation of the OECD standards continues. In all regions, the service sector for investors is open on the principle of one window. Investment Ombudsman Institution was created. Government and regional councils on attracting investors were formed. In 2017, the list of countries for which Kazakhstan will introduce a visa-free regime will already include 54 states. Today there are about 40. Tax incentives in the form of exemption from VAT on imports of raw materials used for the realization of investment projects was introduced. Based on the Supreme Court, a specialized board for the consideration of disputes was created. It will allow foreign investors to deal with any legal issues arising in a quality and fair way. In addition, as noted during the meeting, the head of state, the country is working to establish joint ventures with transnational corporations and so-called anchor investor in the manufacturing industry, infrastructure and energy. Well, you know, it's interesting. When we take a look at our history here, because we've been in the country now for 22 years, we've got uh, over 150 employees, we have offices in six cities around the country. Um, and we first came here to, uh, because we followed some of our international clients who set up operations in Kazakhstan. Um, what we've seen over the years 
is an increase in those number of foreign companies that are our clients elsewhere in the world who have come to Kazakhstan. So now we actually have several hundred foreign companies that we do business around the world with who we also do business in Kazakhstan with. And so they've been attracted into this country because of the reforms that have been made, because of the activities um, that the president have made, the government has made, uh, that this council has, has pursued. Um, so I think that's very important to take a look at some of the continued development in terms of, of energy in the country. I think that's a result of, of what we have in terms of this forum. When you take a look at the diversification of the economy, which we need to see more of, but we're beginning to see some of that activity. When you take a look at the, the financial center and focus on that, that's as a result of the activities that, that That this council has. Как раз сегодняшнее заседание было посвящено вопросу создания международного финансового центра в Астане. Были представлены и доклады. Today's meeting was devoted to the creation of Astana International Financial Center. Papers were presented, which in detail voiced the ideas. And of course, all foreign investors are interested to participate and to help to realize this project and the possibilities that were laid in the idea of the International Financial Center. International Financial Center is regarded by investors not only as a settlement site or conducting purely financial affairs, but also as a window both to Kazakhstan and to the Eurasian economic space. Therefore, the creation of such a window where clear, comprehensible standard rules will act, they will help attract investment in Kazakhstan and in the Eurasian region. И поэтому создание вот такого окна, в котором будут действовать очень внятные ясные, общепринятые правила, они, я уверен, будут способствовать привлечению инвестиций как в Казахстан, так и на все евразийское пространство. Financial Services Center, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. I mean, the Financial Service Center, I mean, will be the sort of hub of generating sort of investments into the country, and those investments that come into the country will stimulate local investments into the market, and that is the sort of, that is the tool that will actually grow the economy. And I, I can't see this not becoming, I mean, a regional hub in terms of, uh, in terms of finance. Um, you know, I mean, and it will be much bigger than people think it will be over a period of time. I mean, if you look at the potential wealth of this whole region, um, people, people need financial services in, in order to exploit it. And, you know, we're in a whole position here now, having taken this decision to be at the forefront of it. So, you know, people here in Kazakhstan, I mean, have got a very bright future to look forward to. I don't think it'll take as long as people would imagine, because the framework, I mean, of these sort of laws have existed for many, many years, obviously, in the UK. They've also been adopted by other financial services centers. Um, you know, Dubai is a sort of classic example. We don't need to go to reinvent the wheel. The wheel actually exists, and therefore this is not going to take as long as people think. About, we have uh, obviously the expo coming up. You have a lot of international businesses coming. We have the uh, Silkway, the uh, One Belt, One Road. Uh, there's a lot of convergence, which makes a great deal of support for establishing the financial center. And clearly there's, uh, importantly, from the president, we see a lot of uh, intent. And uh, he talked about trust today. Uh, and I think that that is one thing that the international community sees. We heard it over lunch as well. Uh, there's trust in him and there's trust in reciprocally uh, for the international investor community. The Astana Financial Center is a powerful project and opportunity. And as we saw with other financial centers around the world, such as Singapore, Dubai, the ease of immigration policies, the ease of labor permits that allow all sorts of people come, live and work in the country is critical. So that should be supported and encouraged. As Mr. Sultan Nazarbayev noted, specific economic results of the International Financial Center, Astana, will be expressed in the acceleration of the GDP growth due to the inflow of foreign direct investment. The project will create more than 2,000 skilled jobs, the total cumulative effect of the economy of the country of the establishment of the center and its regional expansion could reach nearly 40 billion in the next 10 years. In addition, it is planned to create a platform for users of mineral resources on the example of Toronto Stock Exchange, where each company will be able to raise capital for the development of its project on the basis of the center. This was Global Talk. I'm Chris Stanton. See you soon on Kazakh TV.